leads on high and close the path to misery. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Welcome to Lutheran Church of Arcata's virtual worship service. We continue to celebrate the season of Advent in which we remember and symbolically wait for the arrival of Jesus Christ to come into the world. Emmanuel, God with us. Though this world can seem to be overwhelmed with darkness and despair, in Jesus, God restores our hope and reveals amazing love, inspires joy, and grants us peace. Today, we focus on the love that God gives to us in Jesus Christ. So I invite you to uh, join me in beginning our worship service in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, whenever you are, we are here together. We pray that the simple service of music, prayer, and message uh, helps to share the love of Jesus Christ in your heart and in the world. Together, let us confess before God and one another that our love is still incomplete. God of love, light in our darkness, hope in our despair. We confess to you that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not trusted you with our whole hearts, and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Our incomplete love has led us to anxiety about the future, fear for the present, grief for the past. Open our hearts to receive your gift of complete love in your Son, Jesus Christ. People of God, hear this good news. God has seen our broken hearts, seen our sinfulness, and seen our despair, and continues to give us a love that is complete in Jesus Christ, a love that mends hearts, restores relationships, and shines a light in the darkness. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. As we continue our journey through this Advent season, we're focusing on all of the blessings that are ours in Jesus, and that he truly is our only source of hope, and the one who brings wholeness to our life with his gifts of love, deep joy, and lasting peace. We know that Advent is a time for preparing our hearts and focusing on the absolute greatest gift that God has given to the world the gift of his very own son, Jesus, who came to our world to bring life and salvation to everyone who would receive him in faith. 
This week's focus is on love. It's a word that's used in all kinds of contexts to mean many different things. We use the same word to say, I love my dog, and to say, I love you. Now, you're probably describing a different kind of love and in varying degrees, at least hopefully, although there may be some of you out there who may love your dog more than you do some people. But the kind of love that we're focusing on in our worship today is a much deeper godly love, the kind of unconditional love that God has for you. No strings. It's not earned. It's certainly not deserved, but it's freely given. And we also want to focus on what's to be our response to that kind of love. You know, that really sums up what's the foundational purpose of our life mission, doesn't it? To celebrate the unconditional love that God has for us and then desire to live a life that's motivated by that love. Now, we've spoken many times about that amazing love that God has for you. It's at the very center of the gospel message. And I pray that you know deep in the very core of your being that God loves you with an everlasting love. Nothing you could ever do or say will change that, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've done. God has reached out into your world and life with an indescribable and unconditional love and acceptance of you, and he desires to claim you as his own and walk with you in your daily journey of faith. And he has done everything to make that possible through the life and sacrifice and resurrection of his very own son, Jesus. You know, there is no greater gift that could ever be given to you or that you could ever receive and celebrate in your life than that. And you and I now have the blessing of responding with a life of gratitude to that amazing gift. Sure, you can say no. No thanks, God. I'll just do life on my own terms. But if you do, you're missing out on the greatest blessing and the fullness of life that only Jesus can bring. You know, I talk to people often who have tried all kinds of things to fill that void in their lives. You know, we all have that space, that deep place in our soul that longs for contentment and peace and purpose. And it's a space that only can be filled by the things of God. Nothing in this world can fill that void. And maybe you've tried all kinds of ways to give you that kind of peace and to bring that contentment, and you've come up empty. Maybe you're searching right now for that deep soul satisfaction and contentment and feeling like you've tried everything and nothing seems to have any lasting effect. And the reason for that is that it's a gift that can only be filled by what Jesus can bring. You see, God created you to be in relationship with him. And that's what we're focusing on this Advent season, the fact that real hope and love and joy and peace is a gift from God that he desires to give to you each and every day as you walk with him, looking to him to satisfy your deepest needs. The truth is, living every day with that good news not only frees you up to live in peace and joyfully living and loving, hopeful, as God's people, but it also helps you to take the focus off of yourself, and it liberates you to love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and strength and mind, and to extend that love then to your neighbor. We know that our world needs this kind of love, doesn't it? I don't need to tell you that the times that we are in are difficult for many people. It's safe to say that this storm that we're in isn't affecting everyone the same. For some, life is still relatively peaceful sailing. For others, the waters are choppy, but they are making headway. But for others, it feels like they're in a hurricane without a lifeboat. We know that God's love has the power to speak a message of light and hope 
into all of the places of darkness and struggle, a message of real hope that can lift hearts and minds above whatever challenges or struggles may be taking place. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. It's a message that has the power to affect not just what we say, but it has the power to influence what we do. 1 John 3.18 says, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. See, that great love that God has blessed us with is a love that can change lives. It can heal and restore broken relationships. It's a love that compels us to love others when it's not convenient, to extend love when it's maybe out of our comfort zone, and to show compassion and mercy to the broken. You know, it's worth asking the question, who needs to hear that message of incredible, unconditional love and acceptance in your life right now? Maybe that person is you. Maybe it's time for you to see yourself the way God sees you. Or maybe it's time for you to see others through his eyes as well. Maybe it's time to let go of resentment or pride or even past hurts and let God wash all of that away with his amazing grace and let him free you to be able to love in new and wonderful ways so that he would be glorified through you. You know, there's a lot of talk these days about this incredible star. Some are even calling it the Christmas star that's going to appear on December 21st as a couple of planets, Jupiter and Saturn, align to give off an extra special beacon of light in the night sky. However you may think of this event, I believe it's fitting, isn't it? That just as the star over Bethlehem that first Christmas guided the world to the manger where the Christ child was born, as the world wrestled in chaos and unrest with the darkness of sin and separation from God, that the true light was brought into our world. You see, Jesus stepped into the chaos of our lives and brought peace and hope and love and joy and forgiveness and everlasting life, and he still does. So is it a coincidence that in this year that we've just had with all the chaos and unrest of our world, as people have huddled in their homes, that we would be reminded once again on December 21st, the darkest day of our winter solstice, that we would have occur in our night sky this bright beacon of light to remind us once again to return to the manger, to seek once again all of what Jesus brings, to open our hearts to receive the one who brings real hope and love and joy, and the one who casts out all fear and brings real peace. Because this truth remains. Jesus is the one who still brings light and hope and deliverance to our world. I pray your heart is filled with inexpressible joy at the incredible gift of God's love that is yours in Jesus. And may this Advent journey strengthen your faith and life as you celebrate all that is yours in him. Amen.
confused and torn Hold out your candle for all to see it Take your candle Oh light world Take your candle Oh light your world Please join me in prayer. Lord, this Advent season, make your love real in our hearts. Never have we needed your hope and joy and peace more than right now. Thank you for the gift of Jesus, our Emmanuel, the Word made flesh. You promised rest for the weary, victory for the battle scarred, peace for the anxious, and acceptance for the brokenhearted not just at Advent, but every day of every year. Your name is still called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Be with all those who need your healing power. Lift up those who are hurting and bring strength to those who are struggling. We know that peace on earth can only come when hearts find peace with you. You are still our joy. You are still our peace, you are still our hope, and you are still our source of true and everlasting love. We honor you not just as the babe in the manger, but as Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Continue to guard our hearts and minds as we celebrate you as Lord of our lives this Advent season and always. Amen. 
And now receive the Lord's blessing. Now go into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good and honor all people. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. And share the gospel. Love and serve the Lord with the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.